So you took old videos from your Tom's Odyssey channel. Yeah. And just upload them to a new channel with a new logo, new name. Yeah, fresh one. Fresh one, Good. even though the videos were some years old or months old, I don't know. How did that play out? The experiment itself was funny because the old channel was 44K. Subscribers. Subscribers. Yes. The new one was 100. The views in comparison were higher on the 100 channel than on my old channel, just by YouTube pushing it out. But because those videos were created in a binge kind of way, mm -hmm. like this video, then watch this video for the next and you create a loop, people start watching more videos. So the video itself does better, but the channel does better because people get more. Because now YouTube gets positive signals yes. from that channel. And then we have the, the Casey video, which mm -hmm. was on Tom's Odyssey and also on Creator Secrets. That's one of the outliers that actually did well on Tom's Odyssey. That video didn't do as well as the Tom's Odyssey one, but still it has 15K. So that video actually did better on the old channel than yes. the new channel. But it still found its way to the audience. And that might have been a timing-ish thing with... Yeah, he, know, just, was he just published a, co a course and that's why that got picked up. And the new video was published way after the course and it still yeah. got picked up. Yeah. And I think one of the biggest changes that I saw was I uploaded a podcast about Casey, but which was about like his like vlogging and me figuring out how to do a vlog, mm -hmm. right? That podcast video published on the channel got 1K views in a day. So there was like a real wave where the channel was like growing Creative mm -hmm. Secrets. I think it grew 1,000 subs in two months, probably That's a little bit good. less than two months. That's pretty good. Whereas with Tom's Odyssey, it took me two years. What is interesting to hear about this is that you upload videos that already exist on YouTube to a new channel. They find an audience and most of them do better, right? There yeah. are things if they're time-based. Mm -hmm. you... And some videos also did the same, so it gave me the signal like, this is not a good video. By uploading it again, I also got way more comments than I had on my old channel because it got, didn't get pushed back. And that gave me a lot more feedback of like, what does this audience want to see or not see? What it gave me was more of a framework to play with. Because with Tom's Odyssey, there was no focus. Creator Secrets was I knew who the audience was because I thought about it beforehand. And therefore, if I had a video idea, I could test that idea on the audience that I think was watching my videos. So if I was making a video about two new um, pieces of gear that you shouldn't buy mm -hmm. or something like that, I know that's not what this audience wants to see. This audience wants to see stuff about um, how do creators do stuff or how to structure content. So What's even the behind the scenes, behind the process. We're still within the content creation field, but in a different level. Yeah. So for example, I did a video about Riverside, like the platform. Mm -hmm. That video did bad because they're not interested in recording podcasts. They were interested in vlogging or... And filmmaking, filmmaking. and storytelling, developing their story in their videos. Because that's what the creator breakdown is for me. It's like figuring yeah. out how does a creator make his videos. To those people who have this question of should I start a new channel or should I continue with my old channel that has X, X subscribers? Do yeah. you think there's a general answer to this? There's no general answer to that, right? Every channel itself has... I think if it's people who have been creating a long time and they have amassed a, a very broad catalog, mm -hmm. then it might be useful to start a new channel with a specific niche down version of what that catalog should be. And see, just see and experiment what this does. Interesting. Right? But that's the thing what I wanted to say is like, you have to start from zero. And a lot of people don't want, it's a very ego thing. Like, I have this amount. Just be able to just fresh zero subscribers and pushing out my videos and see whatever happens. Hey there, if you enjoyed this clip, click here to watch the full conversation. And if you enjoyed, please consider subscribing. It would mean a lot.
All right. Thank you so much and have a great day.